Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Today I'm excited to do Treehouse Bright. It's one of the hop variants that they do though. Uh, it's Simcoe and Amarillo. I just went up there and did a run, so this is very fresh. Uh, it's been refrigerated the whole time, all that stuff. Uh, if you haven't seen, I've done a few Bright videos. I did um, a regular one, just regular Bright by itself. Loved it. Uh, nice citrus notes, lemon, uh, and it is very like bright. Um, I did a comparison, a fresh one with a six month old one. Uh, I did a Nelson hop variant that I think, if I remember correctly, I liked the Nelson even better than regular Bright. Um, I think Bright is criminally underrated for treehouse beers. Um, it's, I think it's very consistent. I think it's just awesome. Um, great. You know, flavor profile, uh, easy drinking, super um, uh, flavorful, but doesn't get the love. So I poured it pretty vigorous. So you got about three fingers ahead, um, like a dark yellow, almost like the sun kind of a color. Very pretty. Jeez. Let's get to the aroma. Oh, I have not had one of these yet. Um, the Let's see. The can limit was four. Uh, one of my friend Jim, one of my friend Tom, one for my wife, and one for me. So here's mine. Uh, Jim and Tom both like theirs. Uh, my wife has not had the can I got for her. So uh, let's see what I think about it. Let's get to the aroma. Get some uh, like sweet citrus. A little bit like dank. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. So sweet with the citrus, some dank notes. A little bit of pine. Something else going on. Maybe when I get into the taste, I'll be able to identify it. But there's definitely another aroma going on in there. Oh, it's like an earthy note, which I guess, yeah, with Simcoe. Yeah, okay, that's probably what it is. Like, yeah, um, an earth note. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. It's good. Good level of bitterness. Wow. So about like three quarters of the way through tasting it is when you get that like earth note, almost like super slight onion. You definitely get like a lot of citrus notes, peel, pith, um, uh, the actual fruit as I've said, and other uh, you know IPAs. It's interesting. It's it's relatively sweet, but then it's also dry. Yeah, like like if you had dry over here and sweet over here, the finish is closer, you know, to like side five percent this way. Yeah, it's not funk, but that dankness almost has like an earth funkiness to it. It's not like a skunk beer. It's not a, 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 a sour wild. It's not that kind of funk, but just that earth note, probably from the Simcoe. You get a little bit of that, like that twang, like kind of a note this is good uh i'm gonna say the regular bright is better so this is not like a nelson situation where again i'm pretty sure i thought nelson was actually better than the regular bright um this is not as good as bright but it's still very good and as i said earlier like i think bright is criminally underrated so obviously i hold bright pretty high so the fact that i'm saying this is not as good as a regular bright i'm not saying this is a bad beer i'm just saying i'd rather have bright right now uh, let me do another swig let's see if i get anything else or uh, any other notes Oh, great mouthfeel. I should say that. It's a really nice mouthfeel, relatively creamy, definitely top 50%, not top 90th percentile, not that high, but definitely uh, over 50th percentile. Real good beer. Um, I wouldn't mind. Maybe I'll you know, see my wife wants to split that can, <laughs> but uh, uh, I was, I'm was i cool uh, having shared this with our people. Good beer, solid. I look forward to doing like other uh, hop varieties that they might do and getting some regular bright. 
Uh, thank you for watching. I always appreciate everyone. Uh, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.